everyone welcome to how to make a lap book part four today i'm going to make um, a flip out for the back and i've already cut my pieces so i have some file folder you can use any sort of packaging i i just found this and i thought i'm going to use it but i want little teeny tiny spines on so, these i'm going to do the same sort of thing as when i made the hinges and just sort of fold up and fold up and what I'm going to do, just so you can see how big the little spine is, so I'm just going to draw a pencil line where I've folded. <laughs> you can't even see that, I don't think. My lighting is now going. It's approximately three o'clock here in the UK. And, and we have no light <laughs> already. <laughs> I'm going to turn on my light and hopefully it won't cast too many shadows. Okay, um, are we shadowing them? Hopefully that should be all right. Let me know what you think of the light because if I can, if this is fine for you, then I can carry on. So I've got a little teeny tiny spine, which is, oh, just, just tiny. <laughs> I don't even know what it's going to measure, like an eighth of an inch or something. And get me gluey paper back. What I'm going to do is just glue the same as I did with the spines. I don't know what this paper is. It's like a handmade paper and it, it came in strips. And I've picked it up from my scrap store. And thought, well, this is ideal. It's this stuff. It says Dear John on it. And it came in lengths like this. And it's quite strong. And it's got lots of fibres in, so I'm thinking it's it's going to be pretty tough. So we will see. So let me grab another piece, and this is this is what I'm going to do with all of them. And then we're going to cover them with scrapbook paper, or book pages. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to have a little hunt around. And see what I can, what strikes me fancy. I know you can see my pencil lines. And I wouldn't normally have done the pencil lines. But I wanted you to be able to see how big the actual spine was. Now I won't go right up to the spine. Because when it bends the other way. It's going to, um, it's going to show. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put another piece on the back yet i'm going to leave it till it's dry i may put some masking tape down it just to hide the spine bit that could be a that could be an option okay so i'm going to do the other one just the same oh i said i wasn't going to show you all this wasn't i look at me i take no notice of what i say just fast forward if you don't want to see this again. I feel like I've done this loads. But I am doing all these on my day off. <laughs> so I'm, I'm bombing through these today. I want to start putting the videos up, but I haven't actually finished doing the journal yet. So it's going to be a bit nerve wracking seeing you see the first one and then there won't be any more because I haven't made any. up to the edge got, got glue now there oh that's way off there we go push it in a little bit you've got a bit of movability with the glue so that's good i don't want to start bending this because i it will the glue isn't dry yet it won't take long so what i could do is show you what the little pockets that I've actually already made out of book pages which are quite deep little pockets and they're just going to sit at the bottom like this on maybe that one and that one something like that I'm thinking this is my cover this is my front 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna write a little message to myself so I don't forget and put front on there because that's I want that to be I want one of those big another pocket on the front. So if I can find some paper. So I want some thickish paper. So I'm thinking maybe this. what I want is it to be that way round so that I can see the Eiffel Tower not 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 see it I'm winging it now I had loads of I had the first ones all planned and now I'm winging it A vague idea what I'm doing, guys. Okay, so this will be my pocket, it'll have to go that side because that will make this a double thickness there, which will be nice. And then we're gonna have we can have tags in now. Will that work in there? So that's on there, and I've got tags in. I think that will work, as long as they don't come over the edge of there and interfere with the spine, we should be absolutely fine. So that would be my front pocket. So let's get that one done. And I'm just going to use the rest of this to cover that front page like a so and guess what i should have done guys <laughs> you keep forgetting to remind me oh, should have done all this already just going to stick it all down so we need more paper for them there now is this this is this will do nicely we're gonna back these And I need to do them separately. Is that where the pocket is? That's where the fold is. Right, I'm going to cut these. I'll be right back. So I've backed all my pages. And I've got my little flap on there. So they're ready to go. I've made a back page as it is the base and I've put it's just some scrapbook paper and I've sewn on one of my little coffee dyed um, placemats I think I've got it on upside down but I'm not sure <laughs> I can never tell with these things but I think it looks super grungy like that and cool so that's got to go on but before I can put that down I need to make to decide what closure I'm having on this and decorate it. So I've come up with an idea that I think might work and it involves more packaging. I know, I know, can't get enough of this stuff. I'm going to make it two inches across because I think that's plenty. So cut this bit down to size this way I've got to make sure it fits the other way so I'm just going to move these out of the way so I can see what I'm doing so ideally I want them to come to there now let me try and find the center which is roughly there you know me measuring not and I'm going to go right to the very top and just make myself a line of course you know you can use a ruler if you really want to <laughs> and I'm just going to fold on that line that is not really a line and is just a scribble so it does need to be longer than your back piece if you want to do a closure like this one so just check 
check it's going to fit and also check that this is going to fit inside it now i oh you see now because i've got that on there okay that is not going to work because that's going to fold up so i've either got to cut that off or use that somewhere else i could use that on the front because i haven't got a piece for there so that's that sorted so we're going to fit that on there and just check this actually fits on top and it can still close. I'm going to have to do another little fold. That is all you need. I'm going to do another little fold. Unfortunately, that one's not in the right place. We're making do with what we've got. If you've got a plain piece of card, then this can be a lot easier because you won't have another fold. I'm going to make a little spine, me and my spines, and I've got to do it this way. I don't know why I can't do it the other way, right-handed. The only bit you need to decorate is these flaps, because the rest of it is going to be underneath that. Okay. Right, so let's just quickly do that. Right, I'm going to sew that up in a moment. And before I get the rest of it done i am going to decorate these two up but i thought what i'll do is i'll just mat these might have to cut that out again i want to leave i want to leave a bit of room to show the book page underneath so i do quite like you know the layers make sure that's down I can sew round them. I may sew round them yet. Just round the edge. Oh, I could faux stitch in case. Oh, I could do that because a lot of people won't have sew machines. So this is an alternative. If you haven't got a sewing machine, you have to do is just get yourself a little pen and make little mini stitches. I can't do that one, can I? Because I'll have to. I'll have to stop there because I'm going to be cutting that, but I'll just show you. I mean, you can do zigzags, but that might take a while. I'll just do some straight ones. And I'm thinking this is... Right, Rhonda, is this from you? Because I think that's your writing. And I've just found these. I don't know why i put these away but Rhonda sent me these and they're by eva the bohemian crafter and i'm thinking i might be using these in here look how did i forget i had these when did you send and this craft text or something so yeah i've got all this <laughs> to use and I love these labels. I'm going to be putting some of these labels on those pockets. That's what I found. And these gorgeous images. Oh, look, look at that. That's so cool. So I'm probably going to be using these as well. So thank you, Rhonda. I'm so glad I found them. So I'm thinking that these would look, a couple of these would look absolutely gorgeous on there. So I'm going to be cutting them out and sticking those on there. Don't worry, I'm not going to do that with you because that would be, you know, long. Long. Um, this is a little pocket that I've made for the front of. Because I have figured out that this can't be my front. Because if I've got this stuck down, then you can't, it doesn't open. <laughs> <laughs> I've put it on the wrong bit. It is actually the back page, which is fine because, you know, it's still got a pocket. And so this is the front. 
because that will open and open. So for my front pocket, I'm going to put this on. Wrong way up. I'm going to put this on and I've made a, just folded a, a long envelope up and put a thumb hole in it. And that's going to go on there. And I've got this odd bit of envelope, which is going to be my little insert in there. So that is going on that one. I haven't inked this one up. I keep finding all these things. But I, all I've done is, is just folded that up and then sewed round it. I was going to make it like a flap. Excuse all the bits. But it's not going to work because I sewed it. So that's fine. So that is going on there. And there's one more little thing I want to do. Is found myself a couple of just mm, three. I probably only need two. Not sure. Might do another one. Um, little envelopes. And I want to make a little flip out. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, and attach them that way because that makes more sense in my head. And I'm going to glue them together like you do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to completely block off the envelopes. I just wanted the envelopes because of the flip that is just there automatically. I'm going to use these scraps up and I'm going to cover these up like that okay so I've got a few little bits to do a bit of sewing and I'll be back right <laughs> I've had a little I've had a little problem with my machine today my sewing machine is throwing it I don't want to play sewing today game so I got halfway around sewing these because I thought I'd give them a bit of and it, it's gone all wobbly and it's just it's just keep blocking up. So I am not doing it. <laughs> no, no more sewing. What I am going to do is put the eye holes, eyelet holes in here. Now, I do know that some of you won't have a copper dial. But I would say they are probably one of the most useful things you can get in your craft room. <laughs> and... I honestly wouldn't be without mine. Thank you, Rhonda. <laughs> it's like, it's like um, sponsored by Rhonda today. This video. And the trick is, I've learned, not to squeeze too hard when you're putting your eyelids in. Because otherwise, they squeeze. They really do squish. And look, I'm getting really good at them now, which I'm quite quite chuffed about. Okay, so we have our flap. We have this. We have that. So first needs to be either or. So this one can go down. So I need to put him down. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use, you know, the stronger glue. Finally, they say, finally, she's going to put things together. I oh, know. Oh, no. It just takes this long, guys. And believe me, there's been a lot more but that you haven't seen. So I'm going to edge that right up to the edge of my book. And because I've got the spine here, there's going to be plenty of room for this to open. So I've got that down. I need to glue this down. Hide the mechanics. Worked out quite well that one, didn't it? Like that. Is that the sort of centre? Maybe over a little bit. Quite like it to be in the centre. I oh, know. It's supposed to be grungy and I'm like being really particular. But, you know, that's me. Then this can go down. 
Oh, you can see behind there. Quick, quick. Um, something behind there. Anything will do. Let's have a bit of this. Oops. It doesn't matter what it is. Maybe that. You can see through. Bit of that. Let's, let's just... Hopefully, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this to the back of there. And then I'll know it's in the right place. Ooh, didn't think of that, did I? Not a problem. Glue it that way up. And hopefully, there we go. You can see something, but it, it's not like the horrible back bit of that. Okay, then glue this one down. I think we're there. I'm not sure. Do I want to put anything else under there? No, no, Carol, you don't. I think that's enough for one, one section. I've got to put all the envelopes and the pockets on yet. So that's going in there. Let me close in still. Yeah, it's all going to plan. What I am going to do is finish this and then I can decorate. I'm hoping the seam binding is going to go through and I'm just going to go like this. This is more than I'll need. I'm going to cut some and through there. And then I'm just going to tie that just to see how much I need. I've got loads more room to put stuff in there. It's just so pretty. Um, right, now let's just pop on a few of these pockets and then I'm going to leave you because I need to go and get a cup of tea. So my front page is this one. Oh no, that was where I was going to put the fold out pockets. That was where they were going. In there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my book again, and glue this. I should really have my bit of gluey paper underneath because I know I'm going to miss. It's already a mess. I only put a clean one on the other day, yesterday. And it's got to go right to the top, uh, but I've got to have enough room for that to fold. There we go. Clears the pocket. Just. And it's just two envelopes that I've sort of matted, sewn round to make you know, a frame sort of thing. And the other thing I was going to do is put a couple of pockets, um, tuck spots on there. Okay, confession time. I made a mistake. <laughs> I put this pocket on here and that's my front. And I'm hoping that that will cover my boo-boo. Oh, it might just... Right. What I'm thinking is I'm just going to, I just sort of carried on. And all I've done is put that double envelope in the on the back. And I'll put a couple of little pockets on there. And that folds up to there. And I've just decorated that front bit. Now, is that going to cover it? Or... Oh, so annoying, guys. So annoying. Just want to, just wondering if I can just put something underneath to sort of <laughs> disguise the fact that I'm messed up. I only need to put something sort of just there. <laughs> Even just there. Just I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. As I don't want to see 
the um <laughs> I don't want to see the glue. I can't believe that. I was I was thinking I must go and get a coffee. I must go and get a coffee and I was rushing. And that's what happens. But I, I think I can get away with it. <laughs> Shh. It's that secret. So this is ready to go in now. So this is my little bit that's going to flap. And I, lo I love that. That's really cool. And I've got a pocket at the top in there. So we're going to glue. Yep, we're going to glue this down. Just because I want to see where I am first. Yeah. That should work okay so now once that is down I will glue the rest of it down please work <laughs> please work there we go I think that's it I think we are done so I'm going to be putting a tag in that pocket which will hold that booklet that little flap down I've stuck on my pocket got a tuck spot there I've got something to put on there and something to put on here okay got my little I've made a little flip book it's just full of scrap paper which is gonna tuck just inside there on, I made a little, you know, it's just like a flip over. It's going to tuck in there. There we go. So all that will fold up. And I'm, I'm leaving this for now because I want to do the other bit. And I've been doing this one now for two days. <laughs> I know. I know. You wouldn't believe it just watching. But yeah, it takes that long. So there we go. I'm going to do that up. Still got loads of room if I want to make anything else to go in there. So let's just give ourselves a little, a little test. And look at that. Still loads of room. I'm going to cut these off, I think, now. I think I'm, I've had enough of them. And then I will see you next time for part five. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I will see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>